Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shellpoint Today for Wednesday, February 13th. We're getting you through the midweek by following Marge Lee down to Fort Myers for an all-new art chat. That is probably the hardest thing to do in, in portrait photography is not the lighting, not the composition, but to, to get their essence. We're learning about a new friendly face you can see every Wednesday at the Island Commons. And I'm here with Saul from S&M Jewelers, our new jeweler that will be here every Wednesday at 845. We're venturing to the Crystal to learn about some changes coming to the Shell Point Dining Institution. Really excited to hear where we are and what we're going back to uh, already started Monday of this week. Plus, we're taking a look back at the major pro member golf tournament that took place over at Coastal Links. So I've got the pleasure of playing with three residents here today. We're halfway through the golf tournament. We're standing on hole number 10 right now. And we just shot 54 for the front nine, which is about 14 under par. So we're actually in contention to win this thing. But first, we're remembering a hero for a look back on this day in history. It was February 13th, 1861, when the first military action to receive a Medal of Honor occurred. It was Colonel Bernard J.D. Irwin who received the honor after coming to the rescue of soldiers trapped near the Apache Pass in Arizona. An assistant army surgeon, Irwin and 14 men made a 100 mile trek to a trap lieutenant and his troops. Originally setting out without horses, it took over a day for Irwin and his company to reach the men. There they restocked their supplies and gave medical treatment. Irwin's story of bravery inspired the formation of the Medal of Honor one year later. Despite being one of the influences on the creation of the honor, it wasn't until 1894 when Colonel Bernard J.D. Irwin would have a ceremony held in his honor to recognize his actions. Tomorrow, get ready to fall in love with the latest sale from the community thrift store. On Valentine's Day, swing by the shop where anything that's red will be 50% off. The perfect red handbag, half off. That rose painting, half off. Anything with a rouge hue will have 50% taken off. So fellas, why get your special lady an ordinary gift when you can be a real hero and bring her down to the community thrift store and let her pick out what she really wants? If you have any questions regarding the community thrift store's Valentine's Day sale, feel free to contact the shop by calling 225-6529. Tomorrow, it's time to get romantic with a special Valentine's Day drive-in movie. Pull on up to the driving range at the Coastal Commons at 645 for a showing of the romantic comedy Sleepless in Seattle. Watch as Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan shine as two would-be romantics who struggle to start a relationship due to being on opposite sides of the country. This is a beloved story that would be perfect to share with your sweetie on Valentine's Day. If you don't have a golf cart, don't worry. There will be some outdoor seating available. But if you want, grab your Valentine and drive up to the driving range and enjoy the nighttime showing of Sleepless in Seattle. If we're being honest, there's only one way to really win on Valentine's Day. It's with something shiny and gold. So now would be a perfect time to introduce you to a new face in the Island Commons who knows everything there is to know about jewelry. 